decades, but tonight the future of what some consider the heart of the equestrian community in Pierce County is in jeopardy. The roof on an indoor arena is damaged and it is not safe. Como's Tammy Watas alive with what this means for so many in our area. Tammy. Michelle, well, it's Saturday, and usually the Tacoma Unit 1 would be bustling with riders. They even had every weekend booked for shows, but everything's been canceled, and that's because this roof right behind me is crumbling. It's not safe, leaving the future uncertain. It is the epicenter of the horse world. From 1965 until today, from world champion riders to kids starting out, the Washington Horseman Tacoma Unit 1 has been a pivotal part of the horse show world. It's a place where three generations of Taylor's family have made a life. You make lots of friends here with lots of all the kids and the grown-ups, and there's lots of different horses you get to ride, and you can ride anywhere, and it's really fun. But those memories are in jeopardy. You can see the, the pieces of the beam that are hanging down. The roof of the main event arena is failing. Plus, the record snow in February dumped on the roof was the nail in the coffin. Not safe to be in here, not safe for our members. The organization was forced to close the venue until the roof was replaced. That price tag is nearly $700,000. For the safety of our members and our exhibitors, we shut it down immediately. Uh, and that's pretty devastating considering this uh, arena is our main source of income. Just looking in there and seeing the damage right now and knowing that we can't use it is, is so heartbreaking. Since the shows were canceled, high school equestrian teams had to go to other venues. Some as far as four hours away. All the arenas are booked. There's not enough equestrian facilities for the kids to ride at. One of the arena's founding fathers says the horse business needs to stay alive. It adds to the economy of the state because uh, we have so many thousand head of horses in Washington. They can't imagine a future without it. My life would be totally over. And right now, the community is rallying around the organization with different fundraisers. We will have more information on our website, comonews.com. Back to you. All right, Tammy, thanks.